Hey everybody, welcome to the vlog. Have you ever feel you hate humans so much but love animals more than all those humans? We're gonna talk about that today. So actually, I'm cutting my hair a little bit, so it's not done. But yeah, the first thing is actually they're kind of cute. They look just very innocent like a human baby that don't know anything that looks very cute they do some mistake they can look dumb pretty much hard to blame if if they are doing something wrong not like human um adults at first they are not cute ladies can be kind of cute adults is usually not cute an adult animal sometimes can be still kind of cute so that's the first thing they kind of cute and innocent all right, now I get my fresh hair. Second thing, when you play with your animals, actually it releases two hormones. First is endorphin. When you feel happy, it feels like morphine makes you happy. The hormones produces euphoria feeling that you getting when you play with them, especially with, with dogs or Cats. Oxytocin hormone. I don't want to tell the science thing so much, but you gotta know. Oxytocin actually plays a special role in sexual reproduction, like childbirth. Oxytocin is also released when breastfeeding, uh, bonding with the baby, and milk production. Oxytocin is released too when you're playing with your animals, basically. That's a little bit weird. If it's a snake, probably it releases oxytocin too, but not as much as dogs. It's just got similarities between human and animals in the first place. Third thing, they actually got no ego. I think dogs are a very good example of an animal that got no ego. Don't be wrong. You are selfish, man. What do you want, Sid? Look at that guy. No. Come here. <laughs> that guy really, really selfish. But he's still obedient. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Yes. Good boy. He's back. Real reason they, they got no ego is actually they have no purpose in life. Other than being with you all his or their life. They just want to be with you forever. Until... They are not there anymore. Babe. Why you love your animals like more than human? Almost no human. Wanna live with you until he or she is dying. Except animals. Unless you got a wife or a real good friend. Parents, I believe. I don't know what I'm saying is wrong or right, but that's what I feel. Fourth thing, they are always there for you. When you feel down, when you feel happy, humans sometimes not there but animals whatever you search for them whenever you need them they will always there for you whether it's a dog or just a leopard gecko uh, they will always be there for you you know animals if they are yours it wouldn't be somebody else's right it will be yours forever so you should be responsible their love is really unconditional hey what are you doing Why? Why you're holding my hand? Why? And the last thing is obviously they can't betray you because, you know, I think there's no dog that want to be uh, with another person as long as you're alive. Not only dog, I think a lot of animals do that unless you are being mean to them. They, they, they will go to another person, but if you love them, they will not love another guy or another person. The thing that makes me really, really uh, sad is there is a paradox, actually. The thing that makes me really, really sad is animals is labeled with stigma. Stigma of, you know, 
bad things actually dogs are mean pet bulls are mean in my country dogs are filthy but actually they don't it's the same with snakes with lizards you know lizards snakes are evil they are slimy in fact they don't some of them yes yeah, slimy but I don't think slimy is bad I think every animal's got their unique characteristic unique personality and yeah there's actually a paradox in, in, in this kind of love to animals because me myself I'm not a vegetarian I still eat meat I mean not all animals actually being loved what we can love we should love right rather than hate we gotta love that so I think that's it the vlog for today hope you guys enjoyed it if if you got another reason why you love your animals more than humans you can comment down below what what are those reasons and one thing one thing I forgot one thing so if we can love animal that much why can't we love each other as human being that much too so don't give up on your dreams reach your dreams be the best of you every single day Audrey is signing out <laughs>